Hey guys, Lost here, and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase here on the channel today. And today, guys, we have an interesting mod that we plan on reviewing for our upcoming new series that uh, may or may not be taking place very soon. Um, if you if you guys have been following all last week, we kind of were hinting at a few screenshots what what may or may not be in the series. At this point, I think you guys may or may not have guessed what the series is going to be, but I still have yet to say what that series is because I'm not going to be that guy and I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, but uh, just know that this week is the final step that we are taking. And by that, what I mean is every video this week or every other video going out these days will be a mod showcase. So like today, this is this mod showcase. Tomorrow, one of the videos will be replaced with a mod showcase. And each day there will be one mod showcase. That'll be five extra mod showcases. And every mod I review has, we'll say a 75% chance of being added in to, or we'll say 80% chance of being added into the uh, series. And that being said, the only reason that would stop me from not adding in the mod is if it didn't work or it was corrupting the world or crashing or whatever. Other than that, um, yeah, in the mods are reviewing, we're going to alternate between mods that I have reviewed in the past. I've not reviewed this current mod in the past, just so you guys know. And mods that are brand new for 1.12. So, yeah, that's kind of our last... This is going to be our last push for mods to get added into that mod package. Right now, it's looking pretty good, and I'm excited to see what we can do. But today, guys, I would like to introduce you to the More Fuel mod. So, essentially... Like the title suggests, you might have guessed that by all the furnaces, but essentially what the title, as the title suggests, is you'll be able to s not smelt, but use a lot more items for fuel for a furnace other than just the traditional coal, blaze rods, um, Minecraft 101, you can actually use blaze rods, uh, coal blocks, etc. Or in lava buckets, forgot about lava buckets, but, um... Yeah, so if you guys have been enjoying the mod showcase here on the channel, click that like button to show your support, and also click it again for our like little mod showcase mini week that we're going to be doing. And don't worry, none of them are going to be lucky blocks before any of you start freaking out. These are all just completely different mods. None of them are old. They might be correlated some way or other. But yeah, so this mod essentially, like I just said, it also has a few other items which we're going to be going over first. So if I open this chest right here, the first thing we're going to find is nether brick dust. And how you craft nether brick dust is you need a piece of flint and nether brick. So we're going to test this out right off the bat. We're going to throw some fish in this furnace. Can I cook it with that? Nope, I cannot. All right, good to know. All right, so you might be thinking, what do you do with nether brick dust? Well, you move on to nether brick coal, and that is crafted with four nether brick dust. So the question is, can I throw this in there? Yes, I can. All right, and we're also going to be checking the cook times of how long one piece lasts for. So we're gonna we're gonna be letting that smelt in there for a while. Moving on, where next up we have glowing coal, and glowing coal is crafted with two nether brick dust and two glowstone dust. You might be asking yourself, well, how long does that take? We'll see. <laughs> Move here, wait, I need another stack of fish. And if you're wondering why I'm cooking fish, don't ask. Uh, blazing coal is our next item, and that is one nether brick dust, one magma cream, and one blaze powder. So, you guys know the drill. Let's continue on. Uh, now, following that, we have an interesting item. Uh, we have coarse fruit. If you don't know, coarse fruit obviously is from the end you can get. But you might be asking yourself, why is that here? Well, apparently you can smelt it because there is now an item called charred coarse fruit. It didn't give me a crafting recipe, so I can only assume that you can craft with it. So I guess this brings us on to our first item. What Can I smelt a wooden door? Yes, I can. I feel like you couldn't do that in vanilla Minecraft. If you could, I apologize. But we're smelting the coarse fruit. I just want to see... We might actually run out of the fuel before it finishes smelting. Come on. Oh. Forget everything I just did. Um, I need a new item now. Can I smell TNT? No. Just so you know, uh, there is a list on the Amada download page you can find of all the different items that are smeltable. I didn't look at that list before because I wanted to actually like see what I could uh, what I could smelt for fuel and what I couldn't smelt for fuel. Um, I might have wanted, but I might be reading the, into this mod a little bit too much. It said like newly new, new items can be smelted as fuel, so I'm kind of just testing as we go. But here, while we're while we're just seeing, because I need to figure this out. No, that doesn't smelt. Okay, then why? I don't know then how you get charred coarse fruit, but you take the charred coarse fruit and you combine it with a magma cream blaze powder, and you get the radiant coarse fruit, which I'm assuming then can be fuel. Yes. So, as you guys can see, and actually these two have finished their uh, their fuel lineup. This one is still going. This was the blazing 
the here wait where is it that was the uh the blazing coal here i'm actually going to grab these three again just so we remember what was in the first three furnaces but uh yeah so those three items are real really interesting uh the first one smelted 12 second one smelted eight and this one is still going with doesn't have doesn't even look like it has much to go as is the oh wait i forgot the uh whatchamacallit fruit the uh radiant fruit which is pretty interesting oh wait i just realized i never set the daylight cycle game rule do daylight cycle false i was setting up for i was so excited to review this mod i completely forgot to do that um see that's still going obviously the normal uh piece of coal we'll, we'll just do that really quickly so you guys know how much that smells for might as well do a whole vanilla mod showcase also because if you didn't know you can smell with a lava bucket so let me just do that really quickly as well um and blaze rod let me just throw that in there as well just so we know all right so you're all still going now again like i said i feel like maybe it is just these items again i read the mod description it said you could smelt with new items in the game i mean i knew it was adding in items but i think it might have meant like other things like diamonds and such maybe i'm just wrong maybe i completely read this mod the wrong way and i'm an idiot uh you can also if you didn't know smelt like wooden tools i knew you could do that uh but you smell the elytra can i like can i like no no okay okay maybe i just went to this mod the wrong way that might be my fault that might be a my b thing but speaking of this thing is still smelting this one's still smelting i don't think it's going to beat the lava bucket i think the lava bucket was stated to be able to smelt like a hundred items no wasn't it like a thousand items it could smelt i think so i don't think these two new items are going to beat the lava bucket in terms of item smeltage but um yeah, I guess that you know what's ironic about this mod because I have then no idea how to get the charred coarse fruit. Like, I have no idea how to get that. Then maybe there's a chance of that dropping in the end. I don't know. Um, I could be wrong, but if you guys have messed with this mod before, if you know how to get the charred coarse fruit, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but other than that, I think it's ironic because I was thinking this mod would add in a new furnace for some reason. It decided against my wishes, so. Uh, it looks like this one's about to finish, so that'll be a thing. This one's still going strong. Um, the blaze rod's still going. Yeah, this one's done with 27 items. The uh, what was that? The blazing coal could produce. So that's pretty cool. One blazing coal is worth 27 items. So I mean, if you want to make the nether brick dust, uh, that's probably your best bet. If you have just wasted blaze powder and magma creams lying around, that's definitely what you want to go with for your fuel source. Um, this one's still going too, which is the radiant or fruit, blah, blah, blah. radiant fruit, which I think it might actually beat 27. So we're going to see really quickly. Just watch this to see if it actually gets past 27. Looking over here, the regular piece of coal can only do eight. The blaze powder can do 12. So essentially every fuel except the glowing coal. So if we had to rank these in order, it actually would go like this because this is the equivalent so regular the nether brick coal was the equivalent to um the blaze rod and the glowing coal is the equivalent to regular piece of coal so it's actually worthless to make that one blazing coal is the highest yet and then radiant fruit might beat it i have we'll see that in a minute and of course lava bucket is still getting strong i think it's only lost like one tick of its fire at the top so that's probably gonna go through the whole stack um oh and i forgot the coal block but i think the coal block does like four times the amount of a coal we'll see uh is it gonna be or is it gonna be tied it might be tied i'm gonna say now it's gonna end on this one yeah it could only do 27 okay so for the to conclude this mod showcase bl glowing coal is horrible nether brick coal is a better substitute than regular coal if you feel like crafting all the nether bricks so if you have extra nether brick and flint go for it at least a crafting recipe for flint am i right who who always has a ton of flint and they can never do anything with it um blazing coal is probably your best attribute you want to have the blazing coal and of course radium fruit if you can manage to get the charred coarse fruit then that's probably your best bet unless maybe there's a chance of getting the charred coarse fruit through cooking here wait we're gonna figure this out right now 
I don't want to. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. So we're gonna take. Oh, I didn't even realize that was cooking down there. We're gonna take um, lava buckets and see if we can actually get this to work really quickly. So we do that. Do we do that? Of course, if it doesn't work the way I'm thinking, it's not gonna be able to. Uh, what you call it? It's not gonna produce one, but. I mean, theoretically, it would stop. On Let me just see. This is just a quick experiment. I don't think this is how it works. No. Okay, well, but in any case, that's going to conclude today's mod showcase, guys. I hope you all did enjoy. Of course, the download for this mod will be linked in the description down below if you want to check it out for yourself and experiment. And maybe you can find something that I couldn't find. But, um, again, this mod most likely will be added into the mod pack for our new series. So, get excited. Get pumped for that. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.